Interpreters have bigger brains. Do you believe it? Well, the science behind it is a bit more complicated than that simple statement, but it's true. At least in one study, they have shown an increase in cortical thickness in certain parts of the brain of interpreter trainees. See, once upon a time, people believed that the connections in the brain became fixed at some point of development, and then, after that, just slowly deteriorated. Now, neuroscience has since destroyed this hypothesis. We now know that the brain can, indeed, grow. The term plasticity refers to the ability of the brain to change as a result of learning. As learning happens, the brain is literally developing new and stronger connections. Becoming an expert in any given domain causes the parts of the brain that deal with that knowledge or skill to grow. How cool is that? A man by the name of Dr. Pascal Michelon writes in a 2008 article that London Taxi Driver's Hippocampus, which is the part of the brain right in the middle, lower part, kind of looks like a curvy worm, it was shown to be larger than the hippocampus of London bus drivers. Why is that, you might ask? Well, the hippocampus is the part of the brain where we process complex spatial information. So apparently London bus drivers drive pretty much the same routes every time they work. Well, London taxi drivers have to navigate a much more complex and dynamic system of routes. Dr. Michelin also notes that that brain plasticity is seen in the left inferior parietal cortex of the brains of people that speak multiple languages. Those that speak only one language technically have smaller brains, at least in that part of the brain. Now let's talk about a pretty remarkable research study published just last year by Alexis Hervé Salvinen, Barbara Moser Mercer, Micah Murray, and Narlene Golestani. They studied brain growth in trainees of a master's level, simultaneous interpreting training program. The trainees studied for 15 months at the University of Geneva in Switzerland. Now, before starting the study, the cortical thickness, or the brain size, was measured in both the interpreting students as well as in a control group of graduate students that were studying other disciplines. Something to note is that in all 67 participants, each of them were bilingual, with many of them being multilingual. Now, this is an important note because cortical thickness of those participants at the start of the study would have already been thicker or larger in the areas of the brain that process and use language. So, anyway, this team of researchers were able to study and empirically demonstrate some pretty fantastic things related to brain growth. First, in all measured cases, the interpreting students showed an increase of cortical thickness, while the control group showed a decrease in cortical thickness in those areas of the brain where they studied. Now remember, the control group were also active graduate students. Secondly, thickness or growth was measured in the left posterior superior temporal gyrus, as well as the planum temporalum. Now both of these areas work with phonetic processing. It's what enables us to understand speech as language. There was also growth found in the right angular gyrus, which this particular finding is interesting because this is the region where the, of the brain where we formulate propositional speech. This kind of speech being distinct from repetition or just speech copy. This finding supports interpreting scholarship that for years has emphasized the fact that interpreters must reformulate an incoming message before reproducing it in a target language, since language is not isomorphic after all. There was also growth found in the right dorsal premotor cortex. This is where we convert items from working memory into sequence. There was also growth found in the right parietal lobule. This is where domain general executive control and attention are processed. Thirdly, data showed that engaging in simultaneous interpreting training and practice may actually decrease cortical thinning due to age. So, go learn a second, third, or fourth language. And if you want an even bigger brain, train to become an interpreter. This has been a research bike from Voyant. Thanks for watching.